Hello Styles fans and collectors, it's me JellyMaster98 back again with another Styles figure review. In today's Styles figure review we're going to be taking a look now at some more products from the Vintage Collection and we're going to be taking a look now at characters from the original trilogy. Now in today's review we will be taking a look at a droid that appears in the original trilogy and the droid that we'll be taking a look at today is this one. It is the Death Star Droid from Star Wars Episode 4, A New Hope. Now this is the Death Star droid that appears in the original trilogy. It's a different design than the original protocol droids throughout the Clone Wars. But uh, it's been a long time coming and I finally own, oh sorry, a uh, Star Wars Death Star droid. So that's the figure of the Death Star droid. We'll take a look at that in a few moments, but let's take a look at the packaging that this figure comes in. As you see, you've got the Star Wars logo at the top, followed by an original bit of artwork there, the Death Star droid name there, an image of the character in action, the Kenner logo, and the plastic bubble that protects the figure. Turn the packaging round. You've obviously got to mark 50 years of Lucasfilm. We'll see at the front there. And at the back, and also the timeline, you've got the other figures that are in the wave as well. And in the next review, we'll be taking a look at Luke Skywalker. Didn't pick up the Sand Trooper, because I already have a version of this character. But after this, we'll be taking a look at Luke Skywalker. And at the bottom, there's just obviously your legal stuff as well. And the Star Wars logo at the top as well. So that's packaging for the Death Star droid. Let's take a look at this character in more detail. As you see, the Death Star droid, he does come with a swivel head, like so. Movement in the shoulders, the elbows, and in the wrist. It's also it's pretty good. Movement in the legs, knees, and a little bit of movement in the ankles. This character doesn't come with any accessories, but it does come with some good poses as well so you can pose them in all different positions as well just give you a zoom in to show you his silver and black plastic markings as you see you look at the Death Star Joy sort of got like a bug slash Ant-Man look to him you've obviously got the other parts on the chest plate as well and the shoulder plates elbow and wrist plates you've got the wires that are going through his stomach Got a little bit of weathering on the legs and silver on the feet as well. Turn the figure around, you've got some more weathering on the side of the face, some more wires continuing at the back, a little bit of weathering there. But overall, it's a decent figure, this Death Star droid. Like I said, at long last to have this version of this character in my collection, and he goes along well with other figures in your collection. So that's pretty much it for the Death Star Droid. I may pick up a few more just to put it in my uh, collection but we'll wait and see there. But yeah that's been pretty much it for the Death Star Droid and I hope you've enjoyed this review. So I'd just like to say thank you very much for watching everyone. Thanks for taking some of your time to watch these reviews. I'll be back with Luke Skywalker in my next review. And as always, please be sure to subscribe to the channel, follow me on Facebook and Instagram, and I will see you very soon. So thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day, and may the force be with you.